lightning bolt Holt. Number 12 going through the middle. Garrett Moaga to Tia, number 18. He's through the outside. And David Smith, number 20, is through the middle. The Libro will be Eric Shoji, number 22. Michael Sayeta, number 9, the other Libro, he won't get off court. Interesting story about Michael. He's uh, had three concussions in the year. And he's going to retire from the sport completely. Actually got a concussion training in Bulgaria for the start of the BNL. Thought that was going to be the end of his chances of playing. But he's back, he's here, and he's here as a serving specialist. But it's not for this match. This is how the USA line up. Bruno is out onto court first for Brazil. He'll be setting number one. Leal, number nine, through the outside. Sousa, number 13, through the middle. Lucas, number 16, through the middle. Lucarelli, number 18, through the outside. And it's Alan, number 21, in the opposite slot. The starting Libro will be Tales. Maike is the other Libro, but unlikely to get onto court. It's the strongest team Brazil can put out. It is the battle of the best of the best. Renan Del Zotto, head coach for Brazil. This is how they line up. Bruno starts middle back, and for USA, Michael Christensen starts left back. That'll throw up a few interesting combinations in terms of matchups at the net, which we'll see how that pans out. Who will get the advantage? Will mismatches will there be? Who's going to be going over Bruno? Will it be more to tier? Will it be Russell? How many times will Anderson get a swing? Anderson might even have a swing against him on rotation one. Might not. We'll have to see. It's Brazil in their home strip against the USA in theirs, and what a start for this match. 41 of the FIVB Volleyball World Cup, and a serve from Lucarelli. Well, that's just set the tone, hasn't it? Serve and we've already had some magic from Bruno. Bruno's quickly establishing just about everybody, getting them in, getting a feel for what's going on. Lucas is going to have a swing now. He's going to play five, so Lucarelli available. Oh, Mike, but Lucas didn't even get to his base position, and the ball's gone to exactly where every coach tells their player they should be in base. Whoops, Lucas. Tales and Lucarelli aced. Who did get aced? Lucarelli. 
where's Talis going? He's the Libro, he's supposed to play those. though to that communication because if they had them uh, John Sparrow's shouting at them did anyone touch it because they're all in celebrating and you only get eight seconds from the whistle being blown to end the rally for you to be able to make your challenge pass by Shoji at this level that pass to the three mid line is good enough for Christensen Sinemi for Bruno to be able to run the middle so it's a threat trying to find the block issue. Oh, didn't touch anybody. right in between Moaga Tatia and Russell. And this is the key, and you can't emphasize this enough. The two, the gap between Moaga Tatia, Russell, Moaga Tatia and Shoji are the areas you've got to go for the ball. That is another absolute belter. And Leal has hit the snot out of that one. That is on Russell before he even gets to move an arm. Reinforcements needed. Anderson's in. Four passes now. Oh, brilliant. What a ball. Oh, what a play. Oh, that's so unlucky. We go to the technical timeout. Anderson somehow missing that pipe. Brazil leading by three. Fantastic start to this It's another belter, but there's a way out here. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, the camera nearly got that one. This is going to require the utmost skills. And look at that. Well, I off one hand in the end, having to go for the ball. And then Russell gets the USA out of trouble. Fantastic dig from Christensen. Oh, Lucarelli wasn't sure if it was going in. Right, that one's off the shoulder of Tales. This is crazy volleyball. Brilliant. 
just brilliant. Lucarelli on the taxi. Tal is off the shoulder. And then Russell, cross-court bumper. And Souza. USA come again. Four options. And Anderson finds that corner. Let up of a let up there from the jump serve. Susan's going to come in with a little jump float serve, but that's a different proposition now for the serve receiver unit. The ball coming on a flat, straight line. Difficult to know where it's going to drop if it's performed well. And it was, but there's options here. Oh, that was too slow. Uh, too low, I should say. And Lucas was across on that. By the time Smith's had the swing here, Lucas is practically touching that. Those of you that play volleyball and play regularly, you'll understand what this game's all about. Playing in a tournament like this, the likes of Brazil and the USA, playing the likes of Tunisia and Egypt, where the level isn't quite the same. That's a great serve. Well, it went through the antenna, so Bruno can't go and get it. It's easy not to have the focus because you know you're going to win. But when we come to a game like this and your level just raises naturally, the level of everybody goes up and the quality of the volleyball is just incredible. And you see a whole new appreciation for the game and what these guys can do and what they're having to do to compete. These are the matches where the level of the teams and the individuals increases. Invaluable experience that you can't buy. Oh, yes. And we've got two exponents of the pipe, two teams that arguably are the best exponents of it. Lucas goes up with Smith, and then Leal's got no chance as Russell delivers straight through the middle of court. Again, Russell hustling, getting that ball away to position one. The USA now have edged in front here. Smith with the serve. Well played, Lucarelli. In a match like this, you've got to figure that both countries will have told their players. It's important we play well, it's important to get the win, and if it means we do it in five, we do it in five. Unlikely that either one would have said, yeah, I expect us to win this 3-0. It's possible, but it's going to be close. For a 3-0, we expect the scores to be around 23 mark, maybe a few 24s and above. Equally, if the team gets ahead and gets away, as Anderson belts that one right over the top of Lucas, we could see a 
bit of a, a seesaw, like a 25, 15, 18, 25, 25, 20, 18, 19, 25, and then we go to the decider. It all depends on how the teams attack this and how they deliver, and also, as we see that belter from Anderson, how they cope. Not only the mental, or the physical pressure, the mental pressure is huge here. Once again. Christensen was down, was the only one moving, and then didn't back himself to actually go to it. Watch him covering. As he comes down, he's made the move, and then just that turn from Anderson just put him off. See that so often in volleyball, it's incredible. Great pass. That's a good touch from Lucas. Guaga to Tia has been pretty quiet. Hasn't had a lot to do in terms of attacking, hasn't been used a great deal. Alan wraps that off the block. Cross is all right. What tends to happen when the middle block is going out wide to link up with the outside is he'll shove his hips, so it's hips that are contacting. You can see that the hips for Holt not rustle out the way, which means that the chances of landing on each other's feet are reduced. Important to note that middle block is going out wide. Push your hip towards the direction that you are going. <laughs> Anderson the same, gets the block out. Technical timeout, one point separating the teams in this very intriguing first set. It's a very American term and it's used always, you'll hear it in volleyball, fighting off their bombs, there's a bomb of a hit, a bomb of a serve. It's what the Americans use always in volleyball, and it doesn't matter who you're playing. It's a volleyball term, and that's all it will ever be. Nicely done by Souza. Everyone has had a swing now. Everyone is a threat for Brazil. Serves. That's a really good pass from Luaga to Tia. That's off the hands. Luaga to Tia is playing in Greece for Thessaloniki. Just wonder, being called up to the big show and playing here at this World Cup, what that will do for his profile. Great shot from Nicoletti. 
Time Out USA. All right, be battling here, be battling. We're good. Where are they next rotation? The so Bucks. Hey. Look for a streak in the book. Interesting facts. Stahl with the big bushy beard, trying to become another member of ZZ Top. If that touches the net, it isn't actually a net fault. If your hair touches the net, it's not a fault. For those of you that didn't know that, you do now. For those of you that did, well, you still know. It's more prevalent in the women's game because of the ponytails. Right, catch the net. Liao with the serve. Bruno's out there waiting. They know that ball's coming out wide. And it's so much pressure on Sousa to get out. That's a top swing from Russell. He's done that plenty of times to Bruno over the seasons playing in Italy. Come in. And that was just enough room to get the ball down that line, and Alan took it. Oh. Well played, both Christensen and Stahl to keep the ball in play, but it's Brazil who take the point. And what a time to open up the two point lead. Not much else that could be done, and Stahl did really well not to carry that, got it in play. Cheeky little jump floater from Bruno. Nice from Stahl. He's up quickly, and that ball went down even quicker. Got a run out across the front row, Smith's back in. Really cool coaching from John Spiro to give Stahl that opportunity in a match of this stature. <laughs> Another huge hit, this time Lucarelli slicing through. Marco Tatia not really looking at that, he's tried to line up Lucarelli. Really had too many options. It was up to Brazil to challenge, but they haven't done it. Until, well, he's saying he did touch it actually, Lucas, so fair play. Now, this is the brilliant part of the new challenge system. I say new, it's been around a while now, but the challenge system, the fact that you can challenge mid-rally whether or not the ball has touched you, and quite rightly, 
Brazil not challenging because the ball touched the block. And the referee's also letting that go now to make the team that are blocking make a challenge if they feel they didn't touch it. Leal gets that one off of the block and away. Brazil get their side out. This is just quality volleyball. Lucas with the serve. Well, it's here so good at that. He's done that a couple of times in the previous match. Goes up and then fakes it with a big. Oh, but he's going to hit it really hard. Okay, comes up with that tip. Well played. Raga Titi is now back to serve. Bruno is in position five. Three front court attackers for Brazil. With uh, Susan Leal and Alan. And Lucarelli as well on the pipe. So for those of you not, uh, not so in favour, that means Bruno's in the back row and he's got three front court hitting options and he's got Lucarelli who can hit on the back row in the middle. Heading on a good pass, which he's got. Good up from Anderson. USA still defending. Oh, that was knocked by Liao. And Russell's reactions were great. This is how hard it was hit. It's hit Holt before he even knew it hit him. Great swing from the out. If there are any reservations over why Liao is preserved, they're all gone now, aren't they? Not only is he good enough to play for Brazil, good enough to be starting. One of the best outside hitters in the world. Such a shame for Cuba, though. That's the likes of Liao and Leon and Juan Torreira all with various problems at home, having to make their way abroad to earn a living and playing for three different countries. Time like called by Brazil. USA right back into it now. On the plus side for Cuba, Simon Roboland, he's gone back to Cuba. He's looking to play for the national team again. Taken out by the net. Oh, Christensen got such a good touch, but it's set point for Brazil. I think come on. it did, it went through his arms. Maybe he's a little bit upset. Double substitution by Brazil. Fernando is in back row, setting. Well, okay. The man Mountain is in front row, blocking. by the USA.
Dick, there's a swing for the sets. Lucarelli gets it off the hands. And Brazil take it. That's the difference between success and failure at this level. Brazil take the opening set, 25-23. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant volleyball here in Hiroshima. The stats don't tell you the whole story, but they do give you an idea that the level has just been extremely high. And it's fine margins, and it's going to be fine margins again, you feel, in this next set between who's going to take it and who won't. And it could just as easily have been the USA that won that set. It turned out it was Brazil. But one thing that Brazil have been doing throughout this tournament, actually, is what we just saw at the end of that set, turning it around in their favour. And taking their chances. They actually ended up on a very good rotation, it has to be said, with Real serving and Lucarelli at the net. Lucarelli is playing as outside hitter one. Now, at this level, all that means is that Lucarelli passes across all three positions across the back row, whereas Leal passes mostly on the left side. Whereas at the lower levels, your best hitter normally is outside hitter one. Some countries refer to them as killers and builders. Then your opposite's a killer, your outside hitter one's a killer, and your middle blocker one's a killer. And they set up in a triangle with the builders in between. At this level, it's tendencies. It's who's more comfortable. Leal's more comfortable passing on the left, so he's there. And he'll pass pretty much the whole time there. First set and was Brazil. Second set, first point was Brazil's. And now Lucas goes back to serve for Brazil. Sousa, what an incredible player he is. He's not very vocal, just goes about, kind of, I'd say he plods along, because that's not really fair. But he gets the job done and he keeps Isaac on the bench, which is, which is in itself another incredible feat when Isaac is two metres and eight tall, one of the tallest players. Sousa that time, though, gets dug. Makes a good dig. Well, well played. That's always going to be an issue for middle blockers. When they're chasing laterally and they don't post, 
the foot, so they don't get the, the foot facing back towards the net, they're going to drift. And then when you drift, the space opens up where you've drifted from, and, and Alan played a really good ball into that space that no one could then chase. We talk about posting the foot, that simply means as you're moving laterally, you get the foot back around, facing toes towards the centre line. So if you're going left, left it's a left foot, nice swing from Smith, going right, right foot. And that means you jump up then and go across. You don't drift laterally as you're blocking. Excellent from Smith. Good ball. Great pick out from Christensen. Three ball for Brazil. Four attackers available. And again, this time he works, holds. Bruno setting. He's very, very good. He tries to use his shoulders to direct where he's going with the ball and very little with his hands. So it's very difficult to know where the ball is going to go. Until he's left his hands. Oh, it's an incredible serve from the out. These aren't serves at this level, they're spikes. And the USA are defending them in the same way that Brazil are defending spikes. Stroke serves from Matt Anderson and Russell. Real works the pipe, uh, just like the USA. Brazil able to run Lucarelli, Allen and Real on that middle, on that pick. Which is a back full quick, and that's what that is. Tales. He could get out of the way of that in time. Anderson's going to look to try and rain some pain from the serving line. That certainly caused some damage. So is that. What a set again from Bruno. The strength he has, upper body strength, because it looked like he was going to be set out to four. It goes to Alan, one on one against Luanda Tatia. And Alan comes up with the point. If you're supporting Brazil, no doubt you'd like this to be 3 nothing in their favour. If you're supporting the USA, now you're thinking, right, 3-1, that'll do. Don't care, want to see great volleyball, keep it going, five sets will be fine. Christensen going over with the second touch. He's gone and done that because Lucas has dropped his arms down below his waist. Valuable lesson for middle blockers when the setter is front row, on your toes, hands above your head, because if the setter wants to go over on two, you can get your hands up and make a touch. That is a massive serve from Luanda Tatia. Ace for him, all square. Lost right off the shoulder of Lucarelli. Similar. Serve routine to that of Matt Anderson. Oh, that's not going to be hard enough. They say we'll come again. Ha! Brilliant. Christensen said, well, oh, it worked before, it'll work again. It's one of those ones, though, where you can't push your luck too many times. Again, Lucas's arms are down, and the ball goes down. Tia. Third serve in a row for him. License to really kind of go after this one, which he has done. The ball has been given as down. I don't think there'll be any arguments with that.
Bruno now to serve. Brazil into rotation one. They have three front court attackers blockers. USA are on rotation three, actually. So there are mismatches across the court in favor of both teams as they rotate round. Right now, it's the USA on a slight disadvantage. It's all about how they handle that. But they're doing okay at the moment because they are one in front. Gets out of the way of that just in time. Ah! USA have the lead at the technical timeout. Still lead by one set to nothing. Christensen to serve for the US. Well left. That's close. Tyler's new is going to go long. the net. So they're holding on to their lead. Russell. Tal is unsure. So that one's off the block. That's probably the first set from Bruno. Could well have been a double. Alan wraps it off of the block, play continues, Brazil have the point, Alan now back to the serving line. Improvisation from Bruno. That ball came out in flat. Looks like you are not Japanese. This isn't Asian volleyball. Oh, I can do that with it though. That last pass from Lucarelli. Good example of how the pass affects play. Ball nice and high like Moagatati has done because now you've got everybody running, everybody able to put pressure on. Anderson wraps it off the block. The volleyball, the key equation is this, height equals time. Put the ball in high, when you've all got time to get in position, and then on the peak of the ball as it's drifting into the setter, everyone starts to make their move. 
You'll see that a lot here, especially with these two teams. If you can take your eye off the ball for one rally, just watch the move, particularly inside out, on a good ball in, watch the movement of the players. And suddenly you get to realise just why there are gaps appear in the block. And again with that one, Leal, pretty much a free swing. Holt and uh, Russell on one to tier. Holt's pins by Sousa, then he's not sure. Juan Coutier's pins by Allen, and Leal gets the better of Shoji. Well, that's close to the 3 meter line, but it's a great block for Luca Lely and Lucas. And then suddenly at this level, you can see those high sets seem like there's ages for the blockers to get in position. Lucarelli did exactly that. And he's able to block out Matt Anderson. That's a good ball in. Another a classic example. Volley as high as you like, you've got all the time then. Everyone's now available. And then one to see it gets a one-on-one -on -one for that because Lucas has to wait for Holt. And then as soon as he sees the set, he's trying to play catch up. He's never going to be quicker than the ball. Wanda to Tia will serve. Top pass from Tales. Lucas at full stretch. Makes that happen. Anderson, you feel, is probably waiting for a very big hit to come. That went the wrong way, didn't he? Saw it going one way, it's come off the block and gone another. It's in those moments, and that's the real difficult thing as a defender. When the block's up and you go down for a neutral position, is to try and keep going down until you actually see the path that the ball is taken after it's hit the block. Oh, pick up by Shoji! Pull away by Russell. That is some extreme volleyball of the highest order. Shoji's just dug Leal's best. And Russell has shoved it straight back at Brazil for the point. All of which, these were all square. Brilliant pick up by Eric Shoji. Delivers from the serving line. USA now have the advantage. Not one of the fastest, but it was so well placed. Lucarelli not taking a step to his right. It wasn't strong enough to contain the ball. And what I mean by that is you really want to pass the ball with even your knees. So if you step to the right, Passing the ball over that right knee, over the left knee if you go left. And Martinez then in between the knees, nice and strong. Lucas hangs that one to the baseline. Ticking over like a metronome at the moment. One point, one point, one point. No one really able to break free. It's USA will have the slight advantage there outside again to gain the lead each time. Waiting for that. Dip by into the ball in the middle. And the combination play was just waiting for it, wasn't he? Russell's gone line instead of trying to find that gap, try to go, well, cross court was all there to be hit. Technical timeout. 
and just as it was in the first set, one point separating the team. What a game of volleyball we're watching. This is brilliant. Played by the USA. This is definitely a match where, even at this level, when you're hitting as high as you are, you can't hit comfortably. You can't think, "Yeah, I'm going to bury this." You've got to hit deep. You've got to be aware of what's in front of you. Split-second decision-making of these players is phenomenal. The USA are doing a brilliant job of working the seams on the passing unit just as Brazil have been. But look at that, there's no chance at all. That's curved from Lucarelli into Tales. Those of you that are uh, budding servers, the zones to go to are being shown here. Even if the jump float serves in those spaces, it's gonna cause problems. Al gets the side out. She had a, a gap between the block and the defenders. No one taking that space in between the two blockers at the net. Oh, oh yes, Shoji, what a superstar. Well, Brazil take the point, but Eric Shoji not giving up on anything. That's just incredible. And then Lucarelli tidies it all up for Brazil. This set is just seesawing, isn't it? One way and another, but not with massive leads either. It's just that little advantage going to one team, little advantage going back to the other. And right there, that little advantage is with Brazil. Is there signing out for the lead? Ma is on. Oh, well played, Bruno. Christiansen will be kicking himself because he knows that was an option. The setters love it when they can put the ball down on the floor in front of the opposite setter. And that setter, this is a woman who hated the fact that that one has gone down and he hasn't done it.
by Liao. Fully committed Holt. And he stopped Lucas. He gets a touch on Lucarelli, but that ball isn't going to come back. Shoji, despite his desperate attempt, getting back closer to court. I think you're a good volleyball hitter at four. Think again when you watch these guys, Lucarelli, Liao, Russell, Luanga Tatia. High contacts. Looking to go off the hands. And Brazil take a valuable point at this stage of proceedings in this set. And in between the hands of Holt and away, Brazil lead by two. Time out, USA. Hey, Luca Relli's just playing top. You know, like we talked about. Yeah, just a touch, so I looked on there. You're pretty good. Maybe just a little, okay? Hey, let's just go make a play here. Side this out. You know what they're doing, okay? Just go make a good defensive play. Here we go. One, two, three. Let's go, one. Let's do it. Such smart coaching from John Spurrell. Just saying to you guys, hey, Lucarelli, we know he's going to play well. And he is. Lucarelli's having an amazing game. He's having to, to be able to compete against the USA. So it's just about making plays. And as, you, as the USA just recognised, that was a great play by Brazil to take that point. And that's been the difference. It's been something exceptional. That's been the difference in winning or losing a point at times. Good touch by Lucas. Russell stretching and reaching and trying to stop Allen. It doesn't happen. Uh, two points in a row there for Brazil. Trouble here for the US. Timeout called by John Sparrow. with the serve. But he tried to catch Russell out by dropping it short. Russell well aware of what was going on. Perfect pass from him to Christiansen and then sets Holt free. ball here for the USA. Still in play, they'll come again. Russell, Liao makes a good dig. Oh, that's a little bit tight. Oh, what a pick up from Christensen. You've got to be kidding me. And Tales can't keep it in play. The USA take a massive point in the set. This is unbelievable. That's amazing from Christensen. He wasn't going to get wiped. 
And then Russell drops the hammer. Time out for Brazil. My Portuguese is absolutely rubbish, so I have no idea what they were just talking about. However, my lip reading isn't too bad. When I was watching the USA, and they were just having a look at the rotation here, and John Spore talking to David Smith and saying, be ready on the B. Lucas might be going on a B quick. It's rotation one, three front court attack. There's a lot of pressure on Smith here if it's a good ball in. Hog will be trying to get Brazil out of system with this serve. Oh, well left by Tales. There's no set point for Brazil. Brazil can have a swing for the set. We can have another swing for the set. One on one, Leo puts it away. Brazil take the set and they lead the USA by two sets to nothing here in Hiroshima. What a game of volleyball we are witnessing.
Well, this is a must-win third set for the USA, but what a great start for Brazil. Lucarelli will serve again. Had two phenomenal sets of volleyball here in Hiroshima. If you're just joining us, Brazil are two nothing up, but it just as easily have been one all, particularly in the first set, and even could be two nothing USA. Really, a couple of small things that happened. Just Brazil upping a gear, going up a level. I don't think they did really, they just took their chance. <laughs> That's close, has been given as an ace. 3 0 Brazil. This is the biggest lead we've seen at the start of the set. USA are going to challenge it. That's a nice serve from Lucarelli. Gets that one down the block. So, USA at their first point. Real was in late, didn't close the block, didn't close the gap between himself and the net. Brazil. Oh, yes, great block. Lucas wasn't paying attention. He was stood watching deep at six. Like, oh, yeah, we've got another point here. Look at him, watch number 16. Stood up. They think, oh, no. Can't play. Great block from the USA. You cannot switch off for a second at this level. You have to be focused throughout the rally. One minute. Yep, we're going to win this, we're going to do that, he's going to do this, or she's going to do that. This is a good comeback by the USA. They're not letting Brazil run away with this set. I've never seen a serve do that to a player before off the pass. Actually run up off of the arms of Leal and over the top of him. Done by Luanga to Tia. A 
that's important, that ability when you hit that pipe to be able to swing deep to the corners. But you are the master of the ball, not the slave of it. That's another important factor in volleyball. You're in control. Nice dig. Up by Allen. He's now out of the play. It's a bit tight for Leal. Three blockers. Maybe a better chance now. Lucarelli. Oh, good up by Shoji. And it's the USA who'll take the point. Russell wraps it off of the fingers. USA have level. the middles are taken away. You expect the ball to be won, you expect the point to be won by the attacking team. Pretty much happened every time. There's that one exception with Russell trying to go line. And got blocked. Nobody deep enough, Liao too far into court. USA take the point, and now they've gone in front. I think Leal thought that this was going to be one he's going to have to stand there and dig, and then Bruno's coming at the last minute to make a passive block and send it over his head. to get out of the way of that and the USA done really well to claw back the 3-0 deficit they lead 8-7 at the technical timeout to each other as they try to get into position but they're battling so hard and it's the thing that you don't see when you're following the ball what you would have seen was Lucas blocking the next thing you see is Lucas hitting 
the work off the ball is immense from these players. Again, USA doing the same thing. Rather to Tia, passing that ball and then sprinting, getting in position to pin the outside blocker so that there's only one on one in the middle. And in fact, it's a B quick right in between the two. Brilliant work from the USA. say made the challenge so the touch was given against them then which suggests then they obviously didn't touch it they challenged it I thought for a second it was given USA's way and it was Brazil that were challenging it's not it's the USA who uh, say they never touched the ball No touch. says that Bruno's likely to go to it. And that just opened up the court for Lucarelli to hammer the ball into. They now have opened themselves a two-point lead. Opened up a two-point lead. That one is off the hands of Allen. Work again by the USA. Holt drifting with Sousa, leaving the ball back into the empty space. Holt there with the serve. by Muaga to Tia, but if you give Brazil a free ball in transition, the middle available, it's going to get used.
that's a big point for Brazil. A big block by Liao. It's the choices made by the set are so important. Could have gone middle, but may well have got blocked. Went out wide, didn't get blocked. Brazil now level. Really will bring it back. Can someone have a swing? Allen was chasing after that one. Didn't get it off the hands. It was worth a go. So we're going to go to the technical timeout, and there's going to be one point separating the teams. Brazil that have that lead. Alex makes the dig, Liao. It's a net touch against Holt. But the USA, we're going to scramble that one back in. And it's now Brazil who've turned things around, and they lead by two. The 
USA call time. Out. by Tales. Oh, that's not easy. The ball's come over the back. Oh, that, and Tales makes another one, and it's still in play. USA trying to find this point. It's not going to happen because it's a massive block. And look at that, Bruno and Tales going at it. And it is all about Tales. He's making the digs. What a block. Tales and Lucarelli. So when Eager's coming in, Patch is in. Setter into the back row. Attacker into the front row. Three attacking options. Moraga to Tia, Holtz and Patch. USA trying to turn things around in their favour. Early with the serve. That's oh, a great serve, no middle coming, high and wide, Patch with his first swing and he's put down. That played right into Brazil's hands, literally. Timeout USA. Trouble here for the USA, you feel? Indeed it is. Brazil are on a roll. The USA's momentum and rhythm has gone. The double substitution is going to be reversed. Lucas coming up with another point.
Johnny. That is just unbelievable. We've seen some great pickups in this match and in the World Cup, but that's got to have been the best by far. Look, at that's on its way out. Off of the block, and Lucarelli keeps it in play, and Brazil end up taking the point. Yes, it is. Brilliant save. What a save by Michael Christensen. But it is Brazil who put the ball away. Allen with a free net. What a game of volleyball. Brazil take the set 25 17 in the match 3 0. was a phenomenal game of volleyball that could have been 3-0 or certainly could have been 2-1 USA's favor there's no question that the last set Brazil outplayed the USA they lost their rhythm but it is Brazil who remain undefeated at this World Cup now only Poland can stand in their way USA have now lost two matches. Poland have only lost one. We saw them going play Poland in a few days' time. And if they keep winning all their matches up to then, it will come down to that match you feel to see who will, whether or not Brazil will take a goal. But what a phenomenal performance. Brilliant, brilliant performance from the USA. It was high class, it was such a high level. But it was Brazil's level that just didn't wait. Just seem to get better and better. Reynan Del Zotto has been saying that he's building this team. This is the team that he's looking at taking to the Olympic Games. Wallace he may come in, but it is a brilliant team right now. They're playing excellent volleyball. Looking at that set, Brazil just out attack the USA, made four blocks, a couple of aces. Most of those errors were in service for both sides. Overall, hardly anything in it. Five points difference in attack, but Brazil's blocking was much better than the USA's. The USA had more points from service. Well, quite an incredible, incredible match. And we can hear from the captain, Bruno, on his thoughts on the game. He's waiting patiently, although he's got to sign the score sheet first, so we might just have to wait a little bit longer. Michael Christensen was just having a little word with the referees. By far and away the best performance by Brazil in this competition. Very interesting to hear Bruno's thoughts. We can hear from him right about now. Congratulations, Bruno. What an amazing game. 3-0 against USA. How about that? Well, it was uh, a really great game. I think uh, really mentally, I think we, we played really well because uh, they are the, one of the best teams in the world. And uh, I think the first two sets were so close every moment. And I think we played really great in, in all our skills. So 
three points, but uh, <laughs> it's not yet. It's not done yet. So we have a lot job, a lot of job to do. Tomorrow another game. So just focus and uh, get rest for for tomorrow. Yes, like you said, the set count was 3-0, but all sets were very close. Can you describe what was the key to get those sets? What was the key to the win? Just play point by point. We knew that uh, they can go to the serve and, and make one, two or three aces in a row. And we just have to, to maintain our concentration and uh, not think about uh, the finish of the match or something like that. Just think point by point and I think we'll, we were uh, so focused in all the match and I think that was the key to, to win against uh, a great team. I believe the United States is one of the biggest rivals of the Brazil. How important is this win? Well, for sure, a win against great teams is it's always nice because uh, that's our our job is that we are doing is uh, is great and uh, all the sacrifice that we are making in in our practice uh, they are. Uh, giving us uh, the fruits of this, so that's that's amazing. And uh, but I know that they can improve a lot. We can improve a lot. And uh, next year we're gonna be amazing year in in the Olympic Games. Thank you very much, Captain. Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato gozaimas. What a match to round off day two of action here in Hiroshima. Brazil are still top of the table. Who will topple them? Well, we'll have to stick with us and watch the rest of the matches. But for now, though, from all of us here from today in Hiroshima, it's time to say goodbye.